Hey y'all, Justin McKay at Catfish. Well, today was just an absolutely perfect spring day. Sunny, clear skies, warm enough to be comfortable. And you know what? The fishing was pretty good too. I had fish on my lines pretty much as soon as I got my baits in the water. But what I was doing out here today was I was anchored down in an old creek channel. This particular creek here, even now that you know they flooded all this to make the reservoirs back in the day, but even now this creek's not very long and it's not very deep. Out here where I've been anchored at, it's 19 feet deep. So my baits were about 17 feet today, roughly. But this old creek channel, it, like I said, not a very big creek, but it's clearly defined. And that is a path that fish will take as they move out of the main channel and up in here to this creek to feed. And so I position myself right into that channel and drop my baits there where they will have to basically swim through my baits to get up in here. And so I put in a few hours out here this afternoon I was using gizzard shad and crappie for bait, and man, I had a good time today. Here's the action. Ooh, something up here on this rod. Let's pick up on him. He's acting very big, but that is a pretty big bait on there. First one of the day here, folks. Let's see what he is. He ain't very big at all for that bait. The old blue cat, though. Got him a crappie head. he was too calm down there. He was way too calm in that water waiting on me to get hold of him. It's gonna show out now. Fortunately I got that crappie head back. Alright there he is. A little blue to start today. Let him go before he goes crazy again. Gonna drop that head back down. Crappie head at that one eat. I got a gizzard shad on the other three. He's out here trying a different area tonight. We'll see what happens. There it is. Run right there, got hit. Let's see if he's still on there. It's on a gizzard shad body section. I think he may have it. Y'all, that line looks like it's moving. Yeah, he's got it. Got it. Old gizzard shad body section come through for us on this one. <laughs> I'm sitting in 19 feet, so and baits are down about 17 feet, and they pull hard, man. They pull hard on the short line. I got a glimpse of him there in the light. There's another blue cat. Him just above a bank. Uh oh. That right there got hit too, man. That right there got hit while I was fooling with the other one. I don't think he hooked up. No. Nope. That one didn't hook up. Let's send it back down right fast. We'll send it back down and we'll land this other one. Alright y'all, there he is, a fat dink. Fish number two. Ate him a piece of gizzard shaft. Let's let him go. I'm optimistic, man. I'm optimistic we're gonna get some big ones in here tonight. At some point this evening. Alright, another section of gizzard shad there, body section. We'll drop it right back down there. Let's see if we can entice another one. Fish on. Fish on. It's on the gizzard chat head. That one's on the head piece right there. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. When you got 17 feet of line out there, it is a good time. <laughs> He's got some spunk, man. I don't think he's no monster. But they don't have to be when you fish in shallows like this. He may end up being the biggest one so far, though. Let's 
seeing some bubbles. Let's see, it may be a flathead, y'all. It is. We got us a flathead. Right there. Oh yeah, it's raining in y'all. First flathead of the afternoon. Hopefully there'll be more with him. Let's hold him up there. I've got the sun behind me right now too. The wind kind of keeps spinning me around. There he is. Uh, not a bad flathead, man. <laughs> he ate the gizzard shad head. I'm about to put another one right down there too, see if another one can be enticed to taking it. Man, that's a cool looking fish, ain't it? Let's send him home. See ya, buddy. A little tail splash on the way out. <laughs> All right, there's another gizzard shad head. Not very big, but most of the shad I got are small. We're just going to make do tonight. Well, that rod got thumped, man. There it goes, too. I bet you that's a flathead the way it ate that bait. Let's just make sure he gets hooked up on there. Yep. You can just, boom, when he, when he sucked in that bait, man. A solid fish man. Guarantee it's flathead. That's just a textbook flathead thump man and you just see your rod tip just going over. Yeah man <laughs> that's fun. That is so much fun when they take a bait. Excited to get this one up here and see him. I don't know how big he is. You know, it's so hard to tell in the shallow water. The flatheads fight so hard anyway. It feels like a good fish though. I have been. Goodness. Goodness, man. I've been surprised by flatheads before just because they fight so hard for their size. It's definitely a flathead though. I promise you that. This one ate a gizzard shad body section. We're making progress on him here now. Yes. Man, he fought big for his size, y'all. That one's about the same size as the other one we got, but man, he was a fight. hook over and hold him up why don't we might actually be able to see that when the sun's over here beside me on this time we think about it y'all not bad not a bad flathead he, he's probably about comparable size to that last one we got with well, two flatheads and two blues now i was hoping to maybe get some flatheads in this creek tonight because it's a shallow creek you can probably see behind me on the camera there it's not not a real long creek, it's not very deep at all. This right here is the deepest part of it here. And, uh, man, I'm happy to get this fish though. He was fun. Let's let him go. Get out of here, little angry thing. He gone. All right. Well, that one ate a gizzard shad body section, so I'm going to put another one down there. Well, who knows, we might get another one tonight. All right, there's the next bait going down. A gizzard shad body section. Oh, look at that one pull, man. Look at that one pull. Heck yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, that's on that crappie head. That is on the crappie head right there, y'all. Love seeing that bait go down. He is not very big. He was aggressive, but not very good. <laughs> Goodness, he ain't done. 
if we don't swing that head off there. I want that thing back. Goodness gracious, he's rowdy. All right. <laughs> Man, that gets me pumped up when a, a rod with a big head bait goes down. You just don't know what's going to be on the other end of it. And I got that bait back too, thankfully. Let's hold him up there. That's old fun size fish right there. He's probably the biggest one of the day. We're getting right here at the witching hour though. That sun's fixing to go over the tree line there. And I suspect fish may be getting a little bit more active. I'll tell you what, I got my board laid out. We ain't measured one all day. Let's try to measure this and I feel a lot. Yeah, well that fish right there is over 34 inches. That's a pretty good fish, man. Alrighty, y'all. Over 34, almost 35 inch fish. And a dang good time. All right. See ya. He gone. Well, I got that head back. I'm gonna drop it right back down. I'd switch that other gizzard shad body section on this other front rod out with a crappie body section. Uh, a little while ago, so hopefully that'll get hit too. Crappie's all back in this creek right now. I saw crappie fishermen when I was coming out, they were just wearing them out through there. So, uh, and I've caught good crappie in this creek. I've never, I've never fished this creek for catfish before, but I have done crappie fishing back here, and it's it's some pretty good fishing, especially in the spring. So, hopefully these catfish, since I got the crappie out, hopefully they're going back up in there, expecting to find some crappie. So, all right, let's get that bait down there. Oh, he's swimming with it. Get ready, that rod tip's getting ready to go down, man. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I was going to let him take it. <laughs> I'm just going to let him take it, man. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's the smallest one of the day right here. Dinkity doodah. Oh, I got stripers busting here behind me. If you can see that far on camera or not. I'm fighting this little dink blue and these and stripers going crazy up here. Alright y'all. Dink blue. I'll let him go. I'm gonna rebate that hook real quick and then I've got my my skipjack rod here with the spoon tied on. I'm gonna start casting see if I can get some of these stripers. There's fish. Got something right here anyway. What is that? What is that? It might be a skipjack. It is. That's a skipjack right there. I thought that striper's busting up there. It may have been skips. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A little bonus for the night, buddy. A little bonus. Catching the catfish and the bait. We're gonna stick him in the cooler though. I'm gonna save him for another trip. Well, y'all, that little flurry of surface activity right here at sunset, it was brief, but I did get one skipjack out of it, which is one more than I had. So I stuck him in the cooler there because I've got a tournament coming up this weekend, so I'm gonna use him then. But got him on this sumo spoon. It's a, just a white sumo spoon. They come in a single hook and a double hook. I like the single hook version. Uh, but you can get them on Amazon there. I got the link down in the video description. I use that with a, I don't know if you can see that there with it being so dark, but I've got a, a chain swivel. You pretty much need those with any type of spoon because it's just going to get your line twisted all to Hades if you don't. But them chain swivels uh, work great to prevent line twist. And I got a little uh, piece of split shot on there just to help me cast it a little farther because it's such a lightweight a lure but these things man they catch the heck out of bass white bass large mouth small mouth and you'll get some skipjack on them too like i just did tonight so i'm gonna put this up and we're gonna get back to doing some cat fishing i don't like doing a lot of bait fishing while i'm trying to catfish because when i'm standing up in the kayak and i'm casting every time i go to cast i'm rocking my kayak so my bait that are suspended down there 
they're doing this every time I go to cast too. So I'm going to set my butt back down here and be peaceful about it. So these catfish that come along, I ain't seeing my base down there all herky-jerky as they go by. Hopefully we're going to get on some more here. The sun's down now, so I'm, I'm optimistic that some more fish are going to get active and move up in this creek. At least that's my hope anyway. We'll see if it works out. There's a right there, y'all. Is he on? Yeah, he's still on there. Yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. Crappie's getting action now. Sun's down. It's dark out here. The people that's been up there behind me all day finally went in the house, so they shut up. Thank goodness. Get some peace and quiet out here. <laughs> been lacking that today. Let's see what this one is. I ain't got to look at him yet. I see his tail, but I don't know if it's a blue or a flat. That's another blue. Another blue with a big appetite. That was just a dink, but he got him that crop he had, man. There he is. Big appetite, man. You know, you get into springtime here, our water temps start heating up these fishes. Their metabolism gets higher. And then you can start using some really big baits. And they'll gobble them up. Well, he left me that crop he had on there, so I'm going to send it down one more time. Fish on, fish on. He's going to pull on it. Tug on that old gizzard shad. He's going to go where he wants to go now, ain't he? Hard to get control of him on this short line, man. <laughs> uh oh. The rod over there was getting hit too. Let's see if we can deal with this one first here. I don't think that other one hooked up. Another, another big blue, man. I keep waiting on the big ones to come in. It just ain't happened yet. This thing talking to us. <laughs> He's going to stop now that I mentioned it. Look out. There he is. Another fat dink, man. He's fun, though. I just ain't got the monster I'm looking for here today, but I can't complain, man. It's been action-packed. All the fish I've caught have been hard-pulling. It's, it's been a real good day out here. All right, y'all, I got to get up early in the morning, so I'm going to have to get out of here, but... Man, I had a good time today. I know the commentary in this video was probably pretty bad today. I had some people out here working in their yards and stuff. And even I've been doing this YouTube a long time now, when I'm talking into a camera while I got spectators around me, it just throws me off for whatever reason, even still to this day. But uh, nevertheless, even though the commentary may not have been good, I had a real good time out here and enjoyed the fish I caught. And I just got hit on one of these rods as I'm talking to you. I don't know which one. I felt it get hit. I'm going to give it a few more minutes and see if that one comes back for it. But otherwise, I'm going to have to get on out of here. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.